Hey guys, it's Mrs. Kleinley with this week's First Chapter Friday. This week, I'm very excited to be talking to you about The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. Now, this is not a new book. It's a book that's been around for quite a few years, and it was super, super popular for a long time, a book that librarians couldn't keep on the shelves, and um, the series has expanded to uh, four other books now. Um, there's been a movie made about this book, and I think that the hype from it has kind of died down a little bit when it's still really a really awesome book. Um, so I wanted to take a couple of minutes today to talk to you a little bit about One and Only Ivan, read the first couple of chapters with you in the hopes that we will like kind of re-spark the interest in this uh, fabulous, fabulous book. So as you can tell from the cover, this book is about a gorilla named Ivan who lives in a mall that's kind of like a circus themed mall. Like there's like almost like a little mini zoo in the middle of this mall. And his best friend is an elephant and the elephant is old and sick and um, the mall is not doing well. So kind of grasping at straws to try to get the mall to become popular again, the owner of the mall, um, purchases a new baby elephant named Ruby, and that's who you see on the cover there. Uh, one thing that's kind of neat about this book is right at the beginning, there's a glossary of terms that uh, you should be familiar with um, because the story is being told from a gorilla's perspective. There's terms like domain, which you might not know, and that's the gorilla's territory. And meeball, meeball, the definition is dried excrement thrown at observers, which basically means the um, the gorilla like makes balls out of his old poop and throws it at the people when he's not happy with them like being in the mall to see him. Um, a chest beat is repetitive slapping of the chest with one or both hands in order to generate a loud sound. So all of these terms that he uses, which are in his common language, um, he put right at the beginning of the book so that way you would know what the heck he's talking about as you're reading. <clears throat> so here we go with chapter one. Hello, I am Ivan. I am a gorilla. It's not as easy as it looks. People call me the freeway gorilla, the ape at exit eight, the one and only Ivan, mighty silverback. The names are mine, but they're not me. I am Ivan, just Ivan, only Ivan. Humans waste words. They toss them like banana peels and leave them to rot. Everyone knows the peels are the best part. I suppose you think gorillas can't understand you. Of course, you probably think we can't walk upright. Try knuckle walking for an hour. You tell me which way is more fun. I've learned to understand human words over the years, but understanding human speech is not the same as understanding humans. Humans speak too much. They chatter like chimps, crowding the world with their noise, even when they have nothing to say. It took me some time to recognize all those human sounds, to weave words into things, but I was patient. Patient is a useful way to be when you're an ape. Gorillas are as patient as stones. Humans, not so much. I used to be a wild gorilla, and I still look the part. I have a gorilla's shy gaze, a gorilla's sly smile. I wear a snowy saddle of fur, the uniform of a silverback. When the sun warms my back, I cast a gorilla's majestic shadow. In my size, humans see a test of themselves. They hear fighting words on the wind when all I'm thinking about is how late the late day sun reminds me of a ripe nectarine. I'm mightier than any human, 400 pounds of pure power. My body looks like a made for battle. My arms outstretched span taller than the tallest human. My family tree spreads as wide as well. I am a great ape, and you are a great ape, and so are chimpanzees and orangutans, all of us distant and distrustful cousins. I know this is troubling. I, too, find it hard to believe there is a connection across time and space linking me to a race of ill-mannered clowns. Chimps. There's no excuse for them. So we'll stop there. This story is... 
can be very emotional. There are times where you're going to be crying happy tears. There'll be times when you're crying sad tears. Um, But I will tell you the ending is very, very good. And because the series continues with the one and only Bob, which is a dog in the story, the one and only Ruby, which is the baby elephant you see here, and now there's the one and only family, um, the the series will just like it can kind of continue on and on. And we have all of the books in the library except for that last one, The One and Only Family. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. It, again, it's The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. It's found under APP for Applegate, obviously in our animal section. I hope you enjoy. Happy reading. <laughs> 